Which one was the most stressful 3 out of 10 that I've ever experienced? Good luck to you if you decide that this platinum is worth your time, effort, and money. Since there's no missables, only one playthrough is needed, and all of the trophies are story related. You'd think this is a slam dunk, and maybe you're right. Or maybe they are dead wrong. This is my first crafting adventure game, if you don't count Far Cry. And I think it might be my last. Though cute, the art is fantastic, and I enjoyed all the adaptations of fairy tales we've grown up with, Witchwood leans hard into the crafting mechanic, making the gameplay incrementally more grindy and inevitably gets to a point where in order to proceed, you need to collect some ingredients to create a region that is put into a bottle for a potion, and then that's used to complete a spell. <laughs> Awesome, except that's only a third of the part of the objective that you need. This game is honestly elegantly crafted. Nothing is super difficult to figure out or obtain. Respawns are nearly instantaneous. You're constantly making new things, even if the ingredients you've made before, and there is enough materials around that you never feel like you're wanting. Nothing is overly complicated. It's just time consuming and ultimately repetitive. I found myself wanting a list of just how much rope I would need for the entire game, or how much cobblestones. I was getting tired of wasting my time picking up another stone not knowing if it was ever going to be needed, yet this list doesn't exist. So I was like, okay, I'll just make it. I will make everyone's lives easier by having a list of every ingredient and how much you need it for the entire game. So I did. and. Yeah, there's a reason why this list doesn't exist. <laughs> because you're not just counting how many twigs you need for a snap trap, you're counting how many snap traps you need for meat because you need meat for dog hair and you need dog hair for a potion and that potion also needs a dragonfly wing which needs a bait stick which requires meat therefore you need a snap trap. So you see how this is a crafting adventure? You craft a lot. It's like the only thing you do. This indie darling was supposed to be along the lines of a Stardew Valley type grind. However, unlike Stardew, there comes a point when I was just done. <laughs> I wanted to be done with the game and that's because in which Wood, there is an overarching story and mystery, which is super interesting. I was very much into the story and into the characters, and I really appreciated the adaptations. The plot leads you into different areas, which has more to explore and discover. The ingredients and the creatures are cute and quirky, and the platinum is super straightforward. Collect a soul of the big bad, and you get a trophy. Easy clap. This indie title would have me singing its praises if it wasn't for, I don't know, the glitches? So that was a fucking lie. Though the guide says it's fixed and the game goes out of its way to tell me I have the most recent version on every boot up, the trophies are very much still glitched, meaning they don't pop when they should. Every guide says opening the game 24 hours later is a surefire bet to pop the trophies, but that wasn't true in my case. Some of them would pop 24 to 48 hours later, some of them would pop but then not all of them, some of them would pop on time just fine, and then finally the platinum popped because I just restarted the game. It was very inconsistent and there was no rhyme or reason on if or when they were going to pop. However, I can say that the good thing is all of the guides, all the message boards, even my own experience, they did pop. It's just you don't know when, so it's a bit stressful. So that whole debacle, coupled with the increasingly grindy nature of the crafting mechanic, even the cute little story about the mysterious woman in a glass case wasn't enough to keep me coming back. I, I mean, I did, but I didn't want to. <laughs> Witchwood is $19.99, and thankfully it does go on sale quite often. That's how I purchased it. There's nice settings about the dialogue speed so you can go at your pace. There's interesting twists on the fables. The art design is amazing, and there's all these little details that they throw in. It was obviously made with care and enthusiasm, but 
through the lens of a plat hunter, this is just not a sure bet nor satisfying to platinum. Let me know if you're going to go for this plat and how long did it take to pop. Thank you for watching and until next time, happy hunting. You know you have a problem when it's more delayed than the PS3 pops? I never want to go back to that again. I gotta have my pops.